Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Hang on one second. I'm going to flip that right back into Crypto After Dark. Good to see y'all again. Um, Keith, Carolina Keith, Professor Keith, Keith the Simp, Normal Keith. Just Keith. Whatever, dude. I don't need all that fancy stuff. Good to see everybody back. Thursday streams are always a little litty. So, I got my whiskey in hand. If you guys haven't done so yet, go hit like. Why not? It's free. They don't cost anything. And they help us get a message out to more people out there. That's how we do it. I want to get that message out there to as many people as we can. Help as many people as possible. There's so many people in the crypto world that refuse to listen to technical analysis, that refuse the charts, because there's so much bull crap out there that doesn't matter and so much unrealistic lies. We're trying to break through through all that, keep things on the straight and narrow, not bull crap anybody anymore, and just strictly keep it charts only. Charts have no emotions. Assets have no emotions. Why do you have the emotions? All the rest doesn't matter. Throw it out the window and let's make some money. And we shall. Who all's here real quick? Let's go say hey to everyone before we kick it off. It's Thursday. We're going to have some market overview here. I want to just take a step back and look at everything. I got everybody's favorite king shitter coin here. The XRP pulled up. We can have a little look over things. And I want to kind of talk strategy with everyone. And I want to get other people's ideas. And if you guys would, go ahead and put down over here on the right what you particularly use as your strategy what you like to see, what you don't like to see. I'm going to kind of write stuff down. If you've got a chart you want to look at, uh, we can be happy to look at those. I'm going to be watching some high time frames tonight. I'm also going to throw the cloud in here a little bit because, again, what we're seeing is some sideways price action, and the Ichimoku cloud kind of helps us clear that price price action up and see that you know it's not as good as we want it to be. All right, so we're going to get into all that tonight. First, let's say hey to everybody. And we shall. And we shall. Yeah, with the God voice. Let's have a drink real quick. Of course, Jameson Black Barrel. I'm whittling the bottle down a little at a time. Uh, I also got recommended uh, Jack Daniels single single barrel. Might have to go to the store and pick some of that up. Sounds pretty good. Not gonna lie, Frank. Good to see you, brother. Osukia, good to see you. Jeremy Monroe, he's probably drunk. It's Thursday, you know how he gets on Thursdays. Sanazar Hovis Hovespian, bro. I think that's Armenian, and I think I got it right on the first try. No mouth wide open, shock thumbnails. Thank you, bro. We don't do clickbait here. I don't do clickbait. I can't stand that crap. We keep it 100 all the time. I will put my face on there because it's me, but that's about it. All right. Um, I don't, I can't stand the dumb thumb thumbnails. It pisses me off the stupid face gang. All right. Um, same here. Nuts with work. Still trying to do it on paperwork. No chart time for the last three days. I get it. Uh, changed our entire software system work. Well, that sucks. Ron Pote. Good to see you. What's up, Jeremy? What's up, Thor's hammer? Lim Diesel. What's up? Educated dummy. Danny Deep Pockets. Danny Carney. What's good, brother? Ronan. Crypto Boss Andrew, Nate S. Ain't seen you in a minute. What's up, Ohio? Uh, Ronan again, Dunamis. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Bill Urban, bam, martini time, bam. Life's great in, in Colorado, bam, bam, bam. I'm not, never been to Colorado, but I want to go. Uh, I made it now to stay up till the Zoom call. Ha! <laughs> I feel you, brother. Come on, you can do it. I'm going to be up till two in the morning. You can do it. Come on. Um, what's up, Tony, the node savage? savagely trading good to see you brother uh let's see liam what's up dude um pet a uh, pete zvt tied out what's good my friend um ignacio cervantes what's up ignacio good to see you frog with a hat big decks mango bongo what's up brother it might be mango bango and that's the same thing um but it sounds better uh, he said yeah armenian wow good to see you uh X crossover night. I think that's X over, but he meant crossover night. Uh, made some money using the not indicator today. Wow. That's what's up, bro. That's what I love to hear. People make, people making money. Yes, sir. That's why we do what we do, okay? Uh, hi, Keith. Still in Bangkok for one week. Back to the Netherlands. Let's go. I'd love to be in the South Pacific hanging out. I'd like to make plans to go back. 
we have acquaintances and friends out in uh, Laos right now. I'd love to be able to go and hang out with the people that we've helped. Um, in case you guys didn't know, we don't talk about this on the live streams a lot, right? Um, but I put it in the Discord because the Discord is full of Patreon members, and the Patreon members who pay, all a percentage of that goes to giveaways, okay? So we put $1,600 up, or $1,250 up this month, um, and sent that out to Laos. Okay, sent that out to Laos to buy rice, food, supplies, soap, all that good crap for them out there because they have nothing. Okay. Furthermore, Stephen the calculator guy over at the DeFi Dojo, hundred percent matched what actually I was going to do less, and then he recommended this much, so I actually matched what he did. So props to Stephen for that one, Platt Al. Uh, so we sent twenty four hundred twenty five hundred dollars over there to Laos. Um, that bought a ton of stuff for everyone. Super tickled about it. Makes me feel good. Um, and I know we're doing the right thing instead of just giving the money to people who don't care about it. We're going to try to do this every single month. Try to give something every single month, okay? Because pay it forward is the important thing to do. Um, let's say mango bango. <laughs> he put the Y in there because I'm Southern. That's good. I like it. Uh, Papa Nick, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Uh, all right. Let's get into some charts here. So. Obviously, we got XRP pulled up. I'm seeing a ton of crap, right? What you've seen here slowly is crypto Twitter has swung from fake nodes and hype about passive income that didn't work. That swung back over to old school crypto chilling uh, utility, right? Um, but the problem is there's no utility, right? Everyone wants to talk about how that's all great utility, but there's really no utility. There's really none of that um, about like, Point zero 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 one percent of XRP has utility, maybe. Um, so, what that leave you with? It leaves you with a coin that has no purpose, that just floats into the nether, with a ton of them out there, right? The more that hits the market, the less it's worth, and that's just the unfortunate reality of supply and demand. Now, in reality, on the reality check side of the charts, what we see is this thing's in a downtrend. And what do I mean by downtrend? I mean, we've made nothing but lower highs and lower lows on a high time frame first. Let me remove these drawings here. We can start fresh. And this goes all the way back to 2013, right? We can see a trend down here that we've already identified previously. That trend broke, tested, and took off. I need to zoom in for you there to see it. All downtrends, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. Trend break, danced around on top of the trend line, and off it went. Similar situation happened here. In fact, you had more data this time, so you had a high and a low and a high and a low and a lower high. And then lower low, lower high, lower low, lower downtrend. If that's the case, let's pull some trend lines. Turns out you did the exact same thing up here. In 2020, just a little di little different, a little different percentages and a little bit different time frame. Roughly the same amount of months, it danced around on top of the trend line. Eventually broke north into an uptrend. Hey, guess what, folks? Oh, wrong, wrong tool. The, uh, the uptrend's over. Uptrend failed somewhere right up here, didn't it? Okay, not great. Since this uptrend's failed, that means we're now on a downtrend. In case you don't understand what I mean. That's pretty obvious. That's going down and the candles are nowhere near the trend line. If I draw this out and pull it out to where you can see it really well and I drop down to the weekly, you'll see that the last time we made this tiny, tiny little price action was kind of up here and moved to the trend line, hit it and failed. What do I expect to happen again? I expect similar price action for this thing right here to do something similar that it's done before over and over and over again to just do a little wiggly 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 and bink hit the trend line and fail some more and hit the trend line and fail some more and how long is it going to do that for well folks that's what we're waiting on as soon as it doesn't do that anymore then we make a move then we look and say hey perhaps things have flipped bullish perhaps things look better now we are so far away from that that's going to take weeks and or months to correct itself if that's the case then why in the world are you trying to hurry up and buy right now 
I don't think that's the right thing to do. I think that's the wrong thing to do. I think being more careful in a bear market is crucial. And if you don't understand what I mean, go read about Celsius and Voyager and all these other ones. If you're not going to be careful during a bear, during a bear market, you're going to lose. Should I tell you more? Right? You already know about all these. Celsius is in the hole for 1.2 billion. Voyager in the hole for almost 2 billion. Like, come on. Come on. You don't take big chances in a bear market. You reduce your risk. If it was a jet engine and a bull market, you'd be full thrust. Well, that jet engine, you need to pull that thrust back a little bit, let it coast some, okay? Now, let's go down to the daily because obviously the monthly and the weekly both look bad. Even on the daily, I have a similar situation here, okay? Same kind of thing, high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Now, you've got a high here, but then another lower low and a lower high and a lower low and now another low. All a little mini downtrend right here. So we can pull the trend line. Pretty clear and obvious we haven't broken this trend line yet. Until it breaks the trend line, I'm not really excited about anything here. Furthermore, let's put an 821 indicator up there real quick, right? What does it look like? A quick 821 EMA. No cross yet. You got two candles over, but you don't have a cross. And I want to see a cross first, especially in a bear market. Prove it to me. Hasn't done it. Hasn't done it. Let's pull up the cloud because it's kind of built for this sideways action to tell you to stop. You have one out of four. What do I mean one out of four? Well, check mark right here because you got the lag line over the candles. And then no more check marks. The cloud is red. The baseline is over the conversion line. That's a no-go. And the price is nowhere near over top of the cloud. In fact, it's at best two weeks away from potentially breaching the cloud. And that would mean it broke the trend line, which it hasn't done yet. Okay? Not a whole lot of, hey, yes, please, hurry up, let's buy this. Sorry, folks. Now, I have, char have charts in the last couple of days been really volatile and done that? Yes, they have. Overall, sideways okay think about what you're doing yes they're green one day and red the next and green that you really want to try to get in there and grab that action you can but i'm telling you it may not be worth the risk and worth the stress um let's go over here real quick I'm, i want, I don't want to miss anything you guys are talking cro um let's see they literally built a school of some sort over there from the last time yes yes sir absolutely we did over there in laos um, Nick's here. We can get started. Yep. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mongo. A mango. That's the second time, actually. We, we sent them $600 the first time. And the person we sent the money to was a teacher in Laos in a very, very poor village. And she used the money that we sent over there to build a schoolhouse. Like, think about it. We built a schoolhouse in Laos. We funded a schoolhouse in Laos. Like, okay. Like, that's a mind blown. That's a mind blow that I can't even fully understand. Um, Fabio, what's up? Good to see you. Um, Dreamer three, what's up? J one Z O, good to see you. Fella, ain't seen you in a minute. Bill Urban, Matic, gotcha. Matic, we'll look at Matic. Um, Hiram Claytor, Keith, take a look at Matic. I've heard that's where Terra's devs are heading. I, I could care less about Terra's developers. In fact, I want nothing to do with anything that any Terra Luna person touches at all. In case you haven't noticed, those are terrible investment people i don't want anything with what they got to do um i strictly look at charts i don't care about any of the fundamentals far too often all the hype is on the fundamentals and tell me what apple's done to be down 30 percent. nothing um crv and all right uh qnt i'll go back through and look at these um no food in your tent cash sitting on the exchange <laughs> Uh, he says, Gucci, let's go. Um, let's see, CLNN for NASDAQ, okay? I can do that. Anyone who wants to join the Discord for free, click the link right here. Crypto Trauma, just put it right there in the chat. That's Jeremy. He put it right there for everyone to see. Our Discord is free for general members if you want to be in the Patreon group. Not only do we, not only do we participate in donations once a month and give money away to people all across the world who need it more than we do, 
We also have tons and tons and tons of content. It's sixteen dollars a month. It's not an arm and a leg. It's a fancy coffee and a burger from McDonald's. Come on, that's not a ton of money on purpose, right? And there's going to be even more that comes into it and even more value added to it. Just say I just say I told you so, okay? Um, what's up, JD Harris? Good to see you, brother. Rope a dope. What's up? Good to see you. Uh, Quigs the vicious. I think I got that right. Polygon partnering with Disney based on what they've done. Star for Star Wars. Mike says, couldn't care less if they're partnering with Disney. Couldn't care less. Um, that means absolutely nothing to me. It means absolutely nothing to the chart. It would have already been a buy before that or already been a sale before that. Could care less. In fact, I don't really believe any of these partnerships. And by partnerships, what does it even mean? What does it even mean? I share pens with you. Here, I made a partnership with you. Use my ink pen. Like, realistically speaking, none of that matters. I wish it did, but none of that matters. DAG has an Air Force derivative partnership, and the price of the DAG, na DAG node has gone from $115,000 to $20,000. Tell me more about how that partnership helped. Right? So that's not to knock on DAG. I'm just saying I don't really care about that stuff. I try to keep it 100% charts and then gains related there's no gains to be made based on news and if you're trying to live that life you're going to fail more than you succeed ask me how i know i didn't try to live that life it didn't work um let's see comp um let's see oh uh that's not a real one. Oh, I, I got you were spelling it different my fault <laughs> Uh, let's see. Best $16 I've spent every month. Been on it for weeks and I've learned a ton. Thank you, Fabio. Bro, that's what I like to hear. Uh, it's not a ton of money. It's cheap on purpose. Uh, I realize people don't want to spend a lot of stuff. And I realize everyone says, don't get into paid groups. And look, man, it was free for years. Okay, it was free for years before we started doing what we do now, okay? So be careful. <laughs> We've been doing this for a long time. Uh, we partnered with Strong to buy nodes. How's that playing out? Mm. Boo this man, Ron Poteet. <laughs> uh, I can tell you right now, I ain't never heard of DAG ever. I've been in crypto. I've been in for a decade. Yeah, DAG's real. Uh, it's Constellation Network, and I get it. They have real nodes, soft staking, all that good stuff. Now you're hearing people talk about it because all the fake nodes are gone, right? The, the actual nodes are getting some run now because the fake nodes are gone. And everyone could afford the fake nodes because people were smart enough to know Oh, hey, look, I think I'll go buy the cheapest thing possible and make a ton of money on it. Right. Right. Uh, big no from me. So let's get to some of these. Let's go to CRO. Got the Ichimoku Cloud pulled up here. We'll continue to use that on some of these. All right. Let's go to the high time frame first. Let's get a look at that. Obviously, not much to see on the high time frame here. Weekly. We don't have a cloud form yet. We don't have enough data. Uh, we have a little data here, but not enough to make a full determination. So we'll go down to daily. On the daily, we need four check marks. We need lag line over candles. Do we have that? Yes, we do right there. We need conversion line over top of the baseline, which is the blue line over top of the red line. Do we have that. In fact, we do not. It's close, but we don't. That's, in fact, a red X. We need a, re a green cloud on the end. What color is our cloud? It's red. No, thank you. Fourth thing, we need the price to be over the cloud. Is the price over the cloud? No, definitely is not. Therefore, your Paul Wallen at best, sitting sideways, mm, not worth the risk to me. Risk reward comes into play. Everyone often asks me what my risk reward is. I need at least three to one. I need to make at least three to one. I really like four to one. What do I mean? If I put $100 in, right, I want to make at least 4% gains over, I want to make at least four gains to one loss. So let's say to the next potential resistance line, there's 20%. And the next potential support line, 
there's five percent. Okay, that's four. That's four times greater potential earnings than losses. That's four to one risk reward. Excellent. If it's ten percent to the next resistance, and 25% to the next resort. Well, that's negative risk reward. It's not good enough to take to make it worth my time. So I'm always going to look for a good risk reward. If it's not there, I'm just not going to take it. Um, I've been bitten by that bug a few times before. and I don't particularly want to keep getting bitten by it. Uh, China Matt says TRB update, leading cloud flip. Well, let's see TRB real quick because when China Matt speaks, we listen. Ah, yeah. Look at there. You have lag line over the candles. You have price over the candles. You have baseline over. You have conversion line over baseline. Blue over red. Very good. Finally, you have a green cloud on the end. This is four out of four long on the Ichimoku cloud. This looks better than most. TRB looks better than most most all there is to it uh, let's have a look at the weekly real quick shall we all right as you see this thing's been falling real hard for quite a while and it's got a quite a bit of distance back over here to the ichimoku cloud before it could even get stuck under it it's way under it right now you see that the lag line is starting to strike the wicks of the candles right here whenever you see the lag line hitting the candles at the bottom it's typically a sign of potential reversal and when you see that at the top it's typically a sign of potential, potential reversal down, okay? It's just a quick little extra piece to the Ichimoku cloud. Look for it. Don't live by it. Um, that's TRB. Thank you for that one, Matt. Um, China Matt, like Efton. Efton. I can't really say what you're saying. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a thousand years old. <laughs> Yeah, China Matt's actually British, but that's all good. Um, <laughs> it's it's an inside joke. Caught you on James Pelton. Change the way I look at stuff, but you need more info. What? Uh, hold on, I can't read. I'm sorry. Caught you on James Pelton. Change the way I look at this stuff, but need more info. What should I do next to learn technical analysis other than Discord? Well, I have an entire list of indicators for you to use. Here you are. They are free. Free, free, free. They're free. All you have to do is watch them. I will post this right here. Bam. There you go. All you got to do is give them a watch. They help you learn technical analysis faster than I learned it. I learned everything on those instructional videos, and I'll just simply pass that knowledge on to people for free. Yes, sometimes it's tough for people to learn without having someone talk back to them. And that's why I offer one-on-one -on -one consults. If you'd like a one-on-one -on -one consult, hey, look, I have an appointment open for Saturday at 9 a.m. That's the only one I have in July. August, I have some more times available in August. I got two on Saturday, one on Sunday, two on the 20th, two on the 21st. My birthday, I got nothing signed up for my birthday. Might just take my birthday off. Might take those times out. Uh, but offer one-on-one -on -one consults. They're 150 each for an hour. But usually, usually consultants charge about 300 an hour. I simply cut that in half. Um, now you know why I charge what I charge, okay? I, I, I ask a lot of different consultants. I ask a lot of different people who do what I do, what they charge, and I simply cut them in half. I undercut them. Welcome to business. Welcome to the free market um trb has a pissed off looking 200 ma that's about to smack it good, good bring up let's look at that thank you for bringing that to my attention all right let's put our moving averages in there and oh look at there all of our moving averages are starting to slowly turn up 200 moving average sitting at 1875 what reward would we have about 8 or 9% to it there now. All of our other moving averages are turning up. They are all were in perfect order down, and they're shifting to perfect order up. Typically, now I say this, typically when a price gets over the 200-day moving average, it's more bullish than bearish. Not always. 
Okay. Once we break the 200 day moving average, everything feels a little bit more cleaner. All right. That's not a go to be all end all rule. But when you see things get up over the 200 day moving average, we have a lot of evidence to prove that things are more bullish when that happens. Everything is under the 200 day moving average right now. Little by little, things may be starting to improve here. Can't say that's a bottom though. If y'all haven't done so yet, go hit like. They're free. We don't charge anything for them. They help our YouTube algorithm go up higher so more people can get helped. All right. Also, if you want, there's a super chat on here. I don't ask that anyone donates. I really don't. I don't particularly care. If you do, we drink for each donation and all of the Google donation money gets given away. I don't keep any of it. Google gets their cut 40%. Okay. But after that, whatever's left over, it gets sent off to, uh, it'll be Laos now. Have a drink. All right. So, um, I learned to trade directly from those videos. They work and they work well. You do yourself a favor by watching through them. Even if you already know what you're doing, Jeremy has a clear cut evidence proof. That's my cousin. That's crypto trauma. He started from nothing with just a couple dollars. We rented Lambos in Vegas. All right. He didn't do that with my money. He did that with his money. Um, and if you know anything about us, we come from nothing for us to be able to do something like that was life changing. No, I did not buy a Lamborghini. Why on God's green earth would I buy a quarter of a million dollar car and I live in South Carolina? No, not going to happen. Um, I don't make that much money, but I do well, but I don't do that well. Okay. I would, I'll rent one for a whole day. That was awesome. I'm not going to buy one though. My God. Uh, by the way, I'm not a financial advisor. That's not financial advice. Just a guy on the internet talking. Um, what's up? Stiffly said those, those videos are priceless. Let's go, my friend. Here, Ram Claytor says, thanks, dog. You're welcome, brother. Um, Tony, the node fucking savage. Bro, 10 bones he just donated right there. People are trying to squeeze dime out of a penny on these lower time frames. Remember the high time frames, my friends. Tony's exactly right. Focus on those high time frames. Don't lose sight. Cheers, Tony. Oh, wait a minute. That's a drink right out of the bottle, right? In the words of the... Uh, Wordsmith and elite artist of the musical industry, Lil John. Drink it out the bottle, motherfucker. Cup. Let's go. All right. Nothing wrong with a little drinky poop. Um. That shit was fun. Damn right it was, bro. That's a lifetime achievement goal that I had on my wall since I was a little kid. I even talked to another guy yesterday. Uh, we were talking about exotic cars. And he had the same poster on his wall, dude. And that immediately brought back emotional memories. Um, Pretty sure your car will gap those Lambos. I'm working on it, David R. By the way, David R. was supposed to have surgery, and I totally forgot to mention it. I'm sorry. Prayers up for David. It got delayed. Thinking about your brother, I'm sorry. I don't want to hear anybody have to have surgery, and I hope everything works out great. Uh, Ilias Samadakis. I said that right the first time. Boy, what's up out there, Greece? All right. That was CRO and TRB. Let's look at Matic real quick. And let's do the Binance chart. All right. Let's take off the 821 and put the cloud back up real quick. All right, so we've improved here. You got a green for the lag over. You've got a green cloud. You've got a good base and conversion. You do not have price over the cloud though. You have three out of four. So you are very close on Matic by using the cloud, but you're not quite in the clear. You haven't quite flipped into the bullish scenario that everyone thinks it has. It's not bad. It's better than most. You're three quarters of the way there, all right? By the 821 EMA and the moving averages. Okay, you've broken the 50, the 8, and the 21. We'll zoom in here so you can see it. You've broken the 50, which is that yellow line, the 8 and 21 EMA. You're approaching the 100-day moving average. You have about uh, 10 to 12% until you hit that 100-day moving average, which will likely act as resistance because moving averages act as rolling support and resistance, okay? Uh, it's about to hit it now. 
Furthermore, the 200-day moving average is way the shit up there. Wouldn't even worry about it yet. It's out of sight, out of mind. It's so far away. Uh, pivot points on Matic, you're under R2. If you can break R2, which may not happen, the 200, or the 100-day moving average is in the way. So a good price target today would be max 80, 80 cent. Could come down and actually be more around 78 cents to cut it safe. Um, you're also a good bit away from the AMA. Be careful with Matic here. It may fail short term. Uh, but um, like I said, we have a goal towards 78 cents. Uh, if it can break that 100 day moving average, the 200 becomes the target, but that could take a really long time. Okay. And in fact, it may need some time to kind of paw wall out sideways later, just at a slightly higher level. All right. So uh, better than most, though, I will admit. CRV. We'll look at Bitcoin and Ethereum here in a second. I know everybody always wants to know Bitcoin and Ethereum. All right, moving averages off and cloud up. There again, your mixed cloud. Price is not over. It's still red. You do have lag over and you do have conversion over base. Two out of four, 50% in, no more. This thing fell really far, really fast, and it's having a hard time recovering. Give it some time. Don't rush it. But 821 EMA, I bet you is good to go for an early buy. Sure is. Actually looks a lot like Matic here. Uh, and you have a potential good rip uh, up to the 100-day moving average, 25% there. Now, that's pretty good risk-reward because the pivot is 22%, so you're a little over one-to-one. -one. Uh, is that good risk-reward to you? Secondarily, you have the 50-day moving average and the 21 EMA right here at 17%, so you're more like two-to-one. It's better than one to one, but like I told you guys, I want three to one. It's already moved a good bit. I'd wait on a retest here before I bought in. That's just me. Uh, everyone's going to do it a little differently. Um, I'm waiting. I'm being very picky about what I buy right now. Got a ton of stable coins. I want to keep it that way. I don't want to lose anything. Uh, uni. Uh, my name is Ingo Montoya. That's a dope name, dude. Um, let's see next year, Vegas trip. Let's get hair systems. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do Vegas next year. We'll probably go somewhere else to do something different. Everybody done Vegas two or three times now. It's probably like, eh, I don't know about three. Um, can you talk about daily entries when to start running like Ave Amatic best to wait for retest and the AMA, right? Yeah. 821 EMA crosses are a good early entry from there. You want to start looking for potential stopping points. The cloud, the, uh, the Ichimoku cloud, and the rolling moving averages and the pivot points all provide a good stopping point, as well as the RSI and the MACD. Add all these up. If you get more yeses than noes, keep going. If you start getting more noes than yeses, that immediately gives you red flags, okay? And those red flags tend to make me want to stop. They should make you stop, too. Um, what's up, Alvin? Good to see you, brother. Um, M swap. I'll look at, see if I can find that, Andrew. Is that on Trading View or is that on Coin Trader? Paul Wall, Don McGrills, Niv says, "You right it, bro. Houston, Texas, in the house." Um, let's see. Should I, should do Dubai, bro? I wish I could go to Dubai. I got that kind of money. Damn, I ain't rich, folks. I do all right, but I ain't rich. I am rocking a Braves jersey, but that's it. Okay. Um, I found you, Miss New Booty. That's not Paul Wall, is it? Not Uncle Cracker. It might be Paul Wall. Shit, I don't know, dude. Um, Keith, Terry, Tony, Nick, Frank, Ken, Jeremy, one of you two guys, Darth. <laughs> That's pretty good. Trade of you. All right, got you. Uh, let's go on to Q and T. Many people ask about Q and T. Let's have a look at those. Quant. Uh, yeah, look at here. This is what I was talking about. Matic being under the 100 day moving average. And look, this one's broken through it and actually struck the 200 day moving average. In my opinion, this is going to hit a stopping point here for a bit. For a couple of reasons. Number one, you've already struck the 200-day moving average. Number two, you just broke this big, massive trend line. Probably needs to retest it. Not the end of the world if it does, but I'm, there's a good possibility it will. It's not gotten too far away. It's got good sell pressure right now on the daily. But the daily just started a couple hours ago, so let's play our cards close to our chest here. Thirdly, we're way over R3 on the pivots. Let's have a look at the weekly. Weekly's down a metric shit ton under S1 as well in the weekly. So 
if it can break and hold 10725 and hold that for a week, much more bullish than it is now. Tough call though. That's a tough reality and a tough pill to have to swallow. Um it's Mocha Cloud. You're a four or four on the cloud. May go a bit sideways, but that's okay if it goes sideways with the cloud when it's above it, like it is now. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Um, so, like I said earlier, when you see the lag line strike the candles, that's a signal for you to start backing out and get out of it. Also, if the conversion line crosses back under the baseline, obviously, or if the price falls into the cloud, or if the cloud flips into red, all that's a signal to stop. We don't have any of those yet for QNT, but it is hitting the 200-day moving average. And I'll go ahead and tell you the 200-day moving average is very, very hardcore. It's tough to break those. Since it's tough to break those, I don't expect it just to break. Right? Um, by the way, a lot of you guys have DM'd me on Twitter. You've DM'd me on Discord. I'm behind on my messages, and I'm sorry. I've really been dug deep into some stuff to some stuff in the background lately, um, working on programming and developing some bots and stuff. I'm going hardcore trading as well. I've been doing Forex on the side and futures trades on the side. I'm trying my best here. Uh, in this bear market, it's harder to make money, so I'm devoting more of my time to that uh, because, hey, i got to make money too. I've got to make a living, okay? I'm not going back to work. not going to do that. I'm going to make this work. Um, I got 78 people on 53 likes. Y'all go hit like real quick, man. They're free. Why not? You don't got to charge anything for it. Just uh, go click like, get us up in the algorithm, share this out on social media as well. Go hit Twitter with it or Instagram or Facebook or what the fuck ever you use. TikTok. I don't have those, but whatever. I'm old. Bubba Sparks. Thank you. Not uncle cracker. I'm an idiot. Stifler's sexy. F. <laughs> Stupid dude. Um, July 26, 27, rate hike, 75 to 125 basis points. Yeah, I mean, I'm not buying a house anyway, so it's all good. Uh, let's see. That's actually Bubba Sparks. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't really care about the rate hikes. They don't mean anything to me. Um, we'll already have a sell signal or a buy signal way before that ever happens. Um, uh, honestly, I think the dollar is going to stop here soon. Um, it's already $108, $109 is the top end. That'd be the sec almost the second highest level ever. $120 would be the top level or $1.20, which was way back in the 80s. And I don't think we're going to get all the way up there. Uh, when do I sleep? When I die. Um, yeah, I can look at the dollar index. No problem. Whoops. Been charting this pretty hardcore, actually, because I'm basing a lot of my Forex moves on what the dollar's doing. Because everything's kind of based on the dollar on Forex. Uh, I can see whether or not the charts could be bullish or bearish based on the daily chart of a Forex USD, USD or DXY chart. Uh, this is all bullish, all up right now. This is the second take profit line that it's hit. As you see it hit 141 almost perfectly. There is one more take profit line way up here at 112. Is it going to hit that? Super tough call. Well, let's go to the high time frame for a second and look. All right. So, yeah, oh, by the way, I put this. The dollar is about to collapse, everybody. Prepare. This is what YouTube videos people were sending me all the way back in June of 21. I was getting these videos sent to me. That shows you how little people actually know on YouTube. They're all full of shit. All those hype boys and media people can eat it. I don't care. I don't care. So, um, yeah, highest point. That's the second highest point. We're still at the third highest point right now. I'm sorry. Second highest point was back post 9-11. Third highest point, 85. DeLorean era, right? 163 or $1.63 on the dollar. The dollar was almost, almost twice as valuable as everything else on the world. How about that shit? Now, Little by little, things are improving here for the dollar. <sighs> be careful. Just be careful. I'll say that. Things don't go up forever. We must understand to pull back when things go super, super high and get ready to buy in when things go very, very low. And things are way up right now. Okay. Um, let's go to CLNN. Someone asked for that one first. CLNN. The NASDAQ. Ooh, okay. 
Uh, monthly chart had a hell of a rebound this month. So did the weekly. So did the daily. Look at that daily run. So it's kind of failing right here. Um, it, it's never quite broken this level. So if it can get over 415 and break and hold for a significant amount of time here, next stop level 629. That's almost a 50% gain. If it can break and hold 415, 415-ish. That's almost a 50% gain. That'd be worth it, in my opinion, then. Trying to catch this moving train right now is a little bit dangerous, so be careful. Um, Ave. After this, we'll do BTC and Ethereum. All right. Ave, 821 EMA, yes. 100 EMA, no. 50, e 50 EMA, yes. You've clicked off three of the five. Not bad. You are a go on the 821 EMA. Showing an in-between tweezer candle right now. We're not really sure on this candle that's popping up right now, so let's be careful. 100 EMA, 100 EMA is about 15% away. That's a pretty good percentage. Uh, as far as pivots go, pivot, it is crossed over the pivots. It's more bullish than bearish now. That's good. Looking at the other indicators, RSI still has room before over, overbought. MACD is just now flipping into bullish. Ave looks pretty good here. Okay, honestly, this thing could be the one that works up there to the 200. Just understand short term, there may be some down. Long term here, it looks to be either at the floor or improving. All right, BTC. I just go over here to the BTC chart. How about that? You idiot. Right here, BTC. This is the Bitcoin if the Bitcoin futures chart or the CME chart, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. As you see, we still bounced around our gap. We did a double bottom on the gap. You could call this a triple bottom if you really wanted to and get like super hyper technical. You could say this may be a one, two, triple bottom. Bounced off the trend line. You're back over the 8 EMA, but you're in between the 8 and the 21 EMA. What's that called, everybody? Wait a minute, zone. So wait. Yeah, we already did CRV. Looks good. Be careful. There's not an amazing risk reward on CRV. It's a shit ton of time away from the 200-day moving average. Still under trend as well. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin. I need to see this thing break and hold 21715 for a significant amount of time. It has not done that since April. And when it did it in April, it only did it for a few days. Okay. Warning, right? Regular Bitcoin chart. Still holding on to the trend by the hair of its chinny chin chin. It's still hanging in there. It's I mean, it did a triple bounce right here off the bottom of the parallel channel here. Be careful. This historic trend line has never failed before. Does that mean it's going to fail now because it never has? There's a solid possibility. Does it mean it's going to hold because it always has? I'm inclined to believe so, but there's no proof yet. We don't have a buy signal. You have a tremendous distance from the 50-day moving average, 15%. You have a tremendous distance from the 100-day moving average at 44%. Plenty of room for this thing to go if it can get up and make a buy signal out of something. Struggle bus in it right now, yes. Could things improve, yes. Um, pivot sitting right there. There's a good. There's a good confluence indicator right there. 50-day moving average is getting very close to the pivot at 23295. If you guys hear a loud piercing beep, that's bots running in the background. Disregard it, please. I am back testing the shit out of a bunch of stuff. I've got money spread out everywhere, everywhere right now to back test strategies to try to nail down some good bot stuff. Working my ass off at it, I promise. Um, let's see, CVX. All right, that's Bitcoin. Let's go to Ethereum. Ethereum futures chart. Similar situation. Confluence at the area below the CME gap. 50-day moving average is sweeping down toward 1335. We're at 11.93 right now. That's a whole lot better than it was when it was fucking 9.80. That was bad, wasn't it? Slowly but surely, it's trying to turn the corner. Got a ton of room to make up. Nowhere near breaking trend yet. You're in the wait a minute zone on this one as well. But the regular Ethereum chart, similar situation, except you've flipped the 21 EMA, and now you're looking close to a bullish 821 EMA cross. However, I'll warn you, there's confluence with the 50-day moving average and the pivot both in the way right here at 1314, okay? Roughly 1315 or 1325. That range right there is going to be tough to break. In fact, it may hesitate a bit there, fail, and then break later. One step at a time, we haven't gotten there yet, okay? Coming up on the weekend, let's prepare for that. That's Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
Let's grab a drink real quick. I'm talking too fast. I can feel myself talking too fast, right? So I'm going to slow down. Take it easy. Here you go, John Matt. Whiskey. China Matt will probably make a gif out of that. <laughs> so, 83 people on. We have 66 likes. Everybody go hit like, man. They're free. Uh, helps us get up higher. More people we can help, the better. Um, what indicators you got there on that five selected? So, the ones you have, the ones I have up right now are actually way more than five indicators. Uh, this Easy's three for one special. We used to have a member called Easy. Uh, he left us because he got frustrated because he said people were talking too much. Um, hey, I get it. He also got super quiet. Uh, but he was hardcore into this, and he left us for a while. Like I said, we've had a lot of people come and go over the years, uh, and he was one of our old school guys, but I can't really fault him if he didn't want to hear people talk. I understand it. He got mad at me and started flipping me off and never said anything else to me. So what you're seeing here on the easiest three-for-one indicator is the 821 EMA strategy, the 5100-200 moving averages, and the Bollinger Bands are on there. I just don't have them pulled up right now. Secondly, you have trend lines with breaks. This is a Lux indicator that we went over in a, that we went over in the uh, unlimited chat. Uh, I haven't released a video about it just yet, but I will. Um, it basically just helps you see trend breaks. Um, the pivot Fibonacci pivots right here, uh, real simple. Anything under pivot is bearish. Anything over pivot is bullish. This is under pivot. It's bearish. Um, the Nadaria Watson estimator modified by Matt. China Matt right there because China Matt is a freak of nature genius. This is a bit of a trend indicator on the daily. I prefer this for scalping. I've been using it like hell for scalping recently on Forex. Had real good results with it. I'm trying to currently adapt it into some bots. It's not as easy as it seems. It's more complicated than it seems. So it's a little bit of a struggle bus, but we're getting there. And of course, the Ichimoku cloud, which looks bad for Ethereum right now. You've got one out of two, almost, you've got one out of four, almost two out of four, but not quite. Um, simmer down, son, blowing hair in my back. He's stupid, he says simmer down. Uh, do you like Basil Hayden? Never heard of her. Um, still uses Easy 1-3. Hell yeah, I use the Easy 3 4 it. I appreciate what, what Easy did. Came in and helped out. and kind of dipped out, but that's the way life is. Um, Adam. Adam has been a big performer recently. Let's have a gander at Adam. I actually sent this to uh, Stephen the Calculator guy because he likes Adam and he's frustrated with it and I get it. Um, you know, sometimes the protocol doesn't really care whether we like it or not. The chart goes down without us. And he realizes that now, right? But he was frustrated. He's like, I don't want to talk about Adam anymore. I was like, it's okay, bro. I get it. Um, it, did, it did break this short-term trend line right here, right? I'll move this one out of the way. This is a low time frame when I did. Broke this short-term downtrend, tested it, and bounced. That's awesome. In fact, I really, really, really like this look. And why is that? Well, you're starting to see, first of all, you do not have price over the cloud. You do not have a green cloud, but it is very close to flipping green right there. That is very close to flipping green. Um, closer than most, as a matter of fact. Now, Lag line is just about cleared of everything, which is great. That gets a green check mark. That's good. Baseline is clearly under the conversion line. That's good. Blue over red. That's what we want to see. So we got two out of four here, but I think you're rapidly going to get three out of four, and you may get four out of four rapidly. Uh, let's pull up the in moving averages. Look here, we've got a ball of moving averages acting as support. Excellent support here for Adam. May take a position on this one myself. Plenty of room to move up. You got R1, 2, and 3 all in the way, but the 100-day moving average is way up here at $13. Right now we're at 9 That's a real good risk reward. You do have some resistance right here for it to chop through at around 1017, 1025-ish. Uh, sell wall there. Uh, Recently, there's been some talk about order books and stuff in the chart section. It's all true. I'm not going to deny it. Uh, I prefer with support resistance. That's kind of going to show you where the order book's going anyway. Uh, and there is definitely some resistance right around here at $9.50. Got to break through that, but it looks pretty darn good to me right now. Um, RSI trending up. MACD trending up. Not bad. Adam's a good looker. May take a position on that one myself. 
comp. And there we go. We've got eight minutes left. Let's see if we can get through in eight minutes. Same setup for comp. I really like it. Really like it a lot. Looks good. Exact same thing I just said about Adam for comp. Only the moving averages are a touch lower. Uh, cloud. Same setup on the cloud too. Can't be bad at all. I like it. Can't beat that at all. I meant to say it can be bad. It can be worse. All right. 79 people on. 70 likes. Let's see if we can get to 100 before the stream's over. Probably not. Well, let's get there. Oh, Basil Hayden's a great bottle. Used to be a wine and spirits. Aha. Now we're talking. Let me write that down. Hayden's. Now, you're going to start talking about whiskey with me. We're getting there. Okay, I thought you meant some guy on YouTube, and I don't watch I don't watch YouTubers. Um, 500 bottom for what? I'm sorry. For for Ethereum? Oh, God, that's super low. I don't know. What's the difference between not a ride, China, Matt, and Standard? We changed some of the settings, added some alert features, changed uh, some of the code a little bit because we wanted to change it to what we wanted it to be um, rather than what it was designed with. What's up, Darth? Good to see you, brother. Leading the way on the Nadaraya, by the way. Um, I've really liked trauma lines for crosses with um, Nada so far, too. Helps confirm some larger movements. Absolutely. If you use those in unison, they're great. Uh, ice, ice babies. Acre stupid, dude. Um, I missed half the show, Bennett Myrtle Beach. Ooh, you're at Dirty Myrtle. My bad. Uh, I'll be in Dirty Myrtle in a couple weeks. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Blanton's as well. Ooh, all right. Let me write that down. Blanton's. By the way, we have a whiskey chat in the Discord. You can go talk about your favorite spirits. Oh, or Pappies I know about. Don't watch YouTube and Elite Twitter. I put stuff on Twitter um, to teach with and help people with. I'm never going to get anything from it. I'm never going to make any money from it. But I can help people. And if I can help people, great. I'm doing it for the better good. Um, there's so many mis so much misinformation and so many lost souls there. I feel like someone's got to help them. And if that someone's me, well, I'm going to do my best. All right, CVX, then Uniswap. That's not the chart I wanted to see. Yeah, CVX looks pretty darn good as well. Similar situation, over pivot, over base, over conversion, lag looks good. You don't have a green cloud. You're not over, so you got two out of four. But you're over the pivot. You're over the 8 and 21, I bet. Yep, over the 50, that's good. CVX looks Good. C V X U S T. It's on KuCoin. Hey, now we're talking. This one may be worth a poke. All right. Um, C V X looks good. M swap. M swap. It's on KuCoin. Holy shit. Look at that thing go. Uh yeah, this train's already left the station, so I can't get on it, but you got everything you wanted to see here. Uh, I know it looks messy right now. Let me take some of this stuff off. It looks a little cleaner when I take some of the stuff off. There you go. Uh, cloud is all go, but it's super high up there, so be careful, for gosh sakes. Um, weekly is under the cloud, hitting it, so it's liable to fail from there or go sideways. Uh, yeah, but had a humongous run. Uh, done everything you want to see it do. Now, like I said, when something breaks the 200-day moving average, generally more bullish than bearish. Look at here. Broken 200-day moving average. Watch it come back down and wait here for these other moving averages to sweep up. If it can wait for these other averages to sweep up and cross the 200 and do some downward price action while that happens, it forms a ton of support. That support will likely hold. And if it likely holds, then you're going to see this thing move up really rapidly. So I would keep an eye on this one to move up more later after a retest. So I'm going to circle this and put some stars beside it. So I can remember it. Thank you for whoever told me. I think it was Crypto Boss Andrew who told me about MSwap. Thank you. Um, here, hang on. I'll send everybody the Discord link right here. Invite people. Copy. Put it over here. And bam. There you go. There's the Discord link. Um, let's see. Buffalo Trace and four rows of single barrels. I've got four roses already. Uh, I think I've already, oh, it's in the freezer outside. I can't fit it all over here on the, <laughs> I can't fit all the liquor I have on the shelf. So I've got it over here. 
Um, Blanton's used to be a 45 bottle secondary market now. Forest 500, 100 squeezing, rolling, SR example. Thank you. But they don't know about, they don't know about the forbidden forest. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here's what he's saying. Watch the squeeze. Um, what you're seeing here, let me move this line out of the way. It looks like it may have failed it. But you're seeing the price get squeezed in all these averages here, okay? This is impressive. 50-day moving average support. 100-day moving average resistance. 821 has crossed downward instead of upward. This leads me to believe that it's going to pinch down, not up. Let's look at the pivots real quick and take those off. Pivot is way up there. Goodness gracious. What about the 820? Let's see, 200 day is way up there near the pivot, isn't it? Man, that's a way up there. If this breaks north and can break this 100 day moving average, you're going to see price action move very rapidly up because this one's very snappy. If it doesn't and it fails, it's going to come way down like 0.045. That's going to be ugly. Double 045, I'm sorry. Uh, but this is an excellent pinch where you have support from the 50, but you have resistance from the 100. And it's right in there, boiling, waiting to bust, which is amazing. I want everybody to keep, a, keep, an, eye, keep an eye on this Forbidden Forest chart because you're going to see crazy odd price action from it. It's a great example of support resistance from the moving averages. BTCD, sure can. BTCD. Yeah, BTC dominance still under the trend line. There you go. Failing its own support, but it's failed resistance, so it's Paul Wallen as well. Uh, fell in that red line right there. I'm sorry, it's actually under resistance as well. <sighs> not a lot to report here uh, other than maybe going sideways or down. Definitely not up. Um, USDT. USDC have made lower highs and lower lows. Uh, it's working on another lower low now. USDC, same thing, creeping sideways up high like this over the pivot is still not bearish though. Watch carefully, this thing could have another shot up. Yeah, Tesla's going to be splitting. I've been watching about that. Tesla's been short for a really long time. Um, it just recently broke trend, but now it's Paul Wall and sideways. Uh, not a riot is green over the pivot. That's good. So it's trying. It's just kind of stuck floating sideways in the nether. Uh, it's Moku cloud is a no. This would tell you on, on Tesla, give me more longs than shorts. Right now you have more puts than calls. So I wouldn't bother with it, but Hey, listen, that went by fast, didn't it? That was an hour just like that folks. Thank all of you for coming. We'll be back on Tuesday again. We have a Zoom after this with the unlimited chat with the unlimited chat members, unlimited Discord members, unlimited Patreon members. I'll be posting a link in there for you guys to come hang out. Got to Zoom until the night ends, until we all pass out. Thank you all for coming. I'll leave you with this. In the words of the late, great, notorious B.I.G., y'all could have been anywhere in the world. You chose to come hang out with this idiot. And I thank you more than you can ever realize. Y'all be good. I'll see y'all on Tuesday. Peace. Thank you.